What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It is I, James. Readoptionagency.com Twenty plus years selling on eBay. <sighs> Just showing you little different things around here, I guess. Um, sales overnight look pretty strong. Uh, averaged since my. Uh, last video i have averaged two an hour so overnight that's pretty strong so it looks like i got about 30 uh emails at least saying i got 30 items sold let me refresh here and yep 30 items or 30 orders i should say so not bad for overnight especially after what happened yesterday with the Something was definitely going on with eBay. And uh, it's just wrong that I have to turn on the heat during the day, man. We're in like May, still cold and rainy. But according to the weather, at least last time I looked, this weekend's supposed to be bright, sunny, and in the 80s and 90s, just like instantly overnight, which is not unusual for St. Louis area. We've had... 70 degrees in the morning and snow in the evening before, so it can switch on a dime. Wish the rain would switch on a dime and just like Florida does, rain for 10 minutes and it's gone. All right, uh, if you haven't watched the last video, uh, you can I'd recommend watching that's probably been my most helpful, I would think, most information I've packed in one video in a, quite a while, so. Um, instead of just being goofy and making jokes. Hopefully that video was helpful to you all. And I saw that some of you are trying some of the things this weekend. So just let me know how it worked out for you. I'm curious to see if I am crazy or if I'm onto something. So <laughs> just let me know. And uh, we're going to get this shipped so I can get off. What? Get off. That didn't sound right. <laughs> get off to the post office. But uh, also... I got to make a mental note because I'm going to the storage locker today. I want to see how much room I have. So I'll take my camera and show you my two uh, 10 by 30s. One's 100% packed, 10 by 30, literally. You'll see. All you're going to see is a wall of <laughs> stuff and it's 30 feet back. So you won't see much, uh, but I'm going to the other one. I think it's only about a fourth full or a third full. Um, I want to make sure how much room I got because I, we rented a U-Haul for tomorrow. And since we're redoing the living room and my dad's gone, moving a bunch of furniture over there just to get out of the living room so we can repaint and uh, start fixing it up. Because the new couch should be here maybe, probably in a couple of months so, that uh, we had to order and it's being made. So, uh, yeah, so I'll show you that because I might... Probably bring some uh, boxes of cassettes if I can get to any over since uh, I can use that for my quick fillers when I'm listing. So anyway, let's get to see what's sold and get to shipping. All right, we're going to start with one of the country, uh, old country vinyls that I found. So I got about what total of, let's just call it about 400 pieces of all these old country vinyl. So uh, this one sold for $12, headed to Los Angeles, California. All right, Duncan Sheik. This is one of the Hastings buyout CDs. Sold for four bucks, headed to Tulsa, Oklahoma. All right, we got a DC shoe hat. Sold for nine bucks, headed to Chipley, Florida. Morris Chapman, longtime friends cassette. Sold for four bucks, headed to Horton, Michigan. All righty, we got a vintage Adidas hat with a little hole in it. Who are, who are you? Uh, so for nine bucks, headed to Clearwater, Florida. Hee <laughs> hee, you know I'm bad. I'm bad. Shamo. <laughs> and a little Michael Jackson repop of the bad tour t-shirt. 
So for 14 bucks, headed to Fenton, Missouri. Fighting a lion eye, vintage snapback. So for 1350, headed to Columbus, Ohio. We got a Harry Potter Hogsworth Express t-shirt. So for eight bucks, headed to Grand Forks, North Dakota. Meredith Brooks, I Need CD promo single. So for 750, headed to Newark, California. John Kay and Stephen Wolf cassette. So for five bucks, headed to Auburn, Massachusetts. Steve Miller Greatest Hits cassette, five bucks, headed to Bennington, Vermont. All right, next up we got this cool. I love finding stuff like this, and I, it's really hard to find stuff like this around St. Louis because this stuff usually sn gets snatched up pretty quick. So nice old antique vintage, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure how old it is. Telephone. Bakelite. I picked this up at the Honey Hole. I paid $20 for it. Don't know if it works or not, but uh, very cool prop piece, if anything else. If not anything else, uh, sold for $51, headed to Maryville, Illinois. There's a lot of people out there, in my opinion, that abuse the, the term bolo, be on the lookout for. A lot of people will say that to stuff that you'll never see. Uh, they say it to simple stuff that you know, and it's very uh, narrow field, or you know, very narrow piece. Where what I'm getting ready to show you, I've talked about many times before, and in my opinion, is the true definition of a bolo. Be on the lookout for children's cassettes. I've said it a million times, but to me, bolo is something that you're going to find out that there's probably a million different variations. You probably pass them up daily and not even think twice about them. That, in my opinion, is a true bolo and not, you know, an abused <laughs> term being used. So, uh, Sesame Street cassette uh, did sell for 14 bucks. And a lot of times you're only going to pay a quarter, 25 cents, or quarter, 25, tw a quarter or 50 cents for something like this. So, and it turned it into, you know, 15, 20, 25, hell, even 40 bucks. Uh, that's a true bolo. So this is 14 bucks headed to Hartford, Wisconsin. Next up, if you remember all those vintage puzzles I bought, got some big money out of those. Uh, some of the, the smaller ones remain still, like this one from 1979. Say cheese. Uh, so I paid a buck a piece for these at the Honey Hall. Uh, this one sold for $17.50, headed to York, Pennsylvania. I don't remember where I got this piece. Either from my storage, from my Honey Hall, or from the Goodwill Outlet. I don't remember. Anyway. That's the name brand. Blue and white checkered, new with tags. Original price, 100 bucks. Uh, sold for $28, headed to Orange, California. <laughs> Stretch All right. Need to take the time to get this stuff cleaned up since I'm going. Maybe that's what I'll do with this desk. Take it apart and take it over to the yeah, or to my storage. Alrighty. We need to get a working down here on the next project. Alrighty, we got a PGA championship visor. So for ten dollars, headed to Continental Colorado. Alrighty, we got Fila Sports women's shirt sold for nine dollars. Headed to Roy's Ford, Pennsylvania. Royers Ford, Pennsylvania. Next up, St. Louis Cardinals New Era sold for nine bucks. Headed to Boise, Idaho. Martian car wash. Do -do -do. Sold for eight bucks. Headed to Burlington, Vermont. All green. Greatest hits sold for seven dollars. Headed to Fresno, California. All right, we got an Aladdin Disney hand hat. Sold for nine bucks, headed to Glendale, Arizona. 
Green Bay pra Prackers. Green Bay Packers hoodie. Sold for 14 bucks, headed to Wichita, Kansas. All right, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Deja Vu CD, sold for seven bucks, headed to Taylorsville, Utah. All right, St. Peter's Hockey hat, sold for 10 bucks, headed to Lake St. Louis, Missouri. So staying in the area. All right, that country vinyl is starting to fly. Yay! Well, at least two so far, and it looks like I got a third one that just popped up. So I'll pull that one next. So another one of the 400-piece country vinyl. Don Williams, Volume 2, the best of. So far, only five fifty. Headed to Corbin, Kentucky. We'll just call it the country vinyl lot that I bought. So Freddie Hart, a hurting man, sold for seven bucks. Headed down to Dunnel, Dunnelin, Florida. World's okayest intern hat, sold for five bucks. Been in the store for probably two years. Headed to Brownsburg, Indiana. All right, Boardwalk Hardwood Floors t-shirt. Sold for six bucks, headed to Cincinnati. All right, Missouri Botanical Gardens hat. Sold for seven bucks, headed to Los Angeles. All these orders and no international. Very odd. Very, very odd. All right, Thomas Do Dolby, Aliens Ate My Buick. Oh, my dog food just got delivered. Good. All right, Aliens Ate My Buick. Uh, cassette sold for six bucks, headed to San Francisco, California. Five Star Concrete sold for 10 bucks, headed to San Jose, California. All right, that is all for this morning's shipping. <coughs> All right, and then we're gonna head over to the uh, storage lockers. Kids ready? My puppy's ready. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody for watching and we shall see you in the next video. Later.